This is Andrew Ng. His talk on agents in AI has gone viral. This Stanford professor shows how most people use ChatGPT in what he calls a non-agentic way, by asking it to complete a task in one shot. For example, write me an essay on topic X from start to finish in one go. But an agentic workflow is much more powerful. You're able to break down the job into multiple prompts. For example, write an essay outline, do the web research, write the first draft, revise the draft, and so on. Agentic workflows are much more capable because they combine the power of multiple prompts to do a single task. This is because a single ChatGPT prompt is great at doing small little tasks here and there. When you ask it to complete a large project, it just totally falls on its face. This is because a single prompt has very limited amounts of so-called AI horsepower. Now, what is even more crazy is that I accidentally discovered the power of agentic workflows several months before Andrew's talk. And I've actually found a way to unlock this capability inside of ChatGPT, and it's working right now. You see, for the past year, I've been building software to enable ChatGPT to do real work. And the number one most powerful feature I've created is a multi-step prompt builder right inside of ChatGPT, where you can get ChatGPT to come up with a step-by-step -step plan and then have ChatGPT execute each one of those steps on its own. This allows you to generate anything from business plans to entire books and even detailed case studies with just one click. This opens up a whole bunch of new possibilities for ChatGPT to do actual work. So I'm gonna create a multi-step flow, add six steps, and I'm gonna paste in the first step, which is uh, creating an outline. So what I'm looking to do is uh, give me a 30 point outline of different marketing ideas and things I can do to grow a business outline below. So the first step is uh, create an outline so that the following steps can go out and generate the different parts of that marketing plan. And step two will be to generate the other pieces of the marketing plan. And uh, we do that by write a detailed plan for points one to five only, write a detailed plan for points six to 10 only. So this is how we're breaking it down and taking the outline and then generating the points afterwards. And just like that, we can just keep on adding more and more so that everything is done step by step and we have seven steps to generate this marketing plan. What we wanna do uh, over here is also save this. So I'm gonna create a new category here call it uh, business planning, choose an emoji, save it here. And uh, right here, I have it inside business planning. Actually, let me let me rename this to something else. So I'm going to rename this to just business plan. Press save. And now if we uh, go back, refresh the page to a brand new chat, I can just go in here, press this in my prompt library and you see everything is filled in and ready to go. And all I need to do is just paste in the requirements of that specific business and it will make a marketing plan for that business. So in here we have the variable that I put in paste here. So I'm just gonna paste in the different things uh, that are related to that business that I want to generate a plan for. So I'm gonna put in all these different things from a hypothetical online boutique that send, uh, sells jewelry. So here we have all the different details of that business that we don't want to provide to ChatGPT. So I'm just going to take that and paste that into that variable that we set up. And just like that, press send. And you see the first step, it does the outline. So social media campaigns, influencer partnerships, email marketing. So it's doing the brainstorming of what the marketing plan should have, but it's not actually writing the marketing plan. Is just creating the outline. So retargeting campaigns, pop-up shops, limited time offers, loyalty program, customer referral program, video marketing, podcast sponsorship, local community engagement, webinar workshops, AR experience, seasonal campaigns, direct mail, collaborative collection. And you see here, even the numbering got messed up because the longer the answer, the lower uh, the quality and the more chance for mistakes. So this is another example of why having multiple prompts is so powerful because even see this one answer 
already it messes up the numbering but uh, not to worry i think that once it actually starts generating the individual prompts because it only has to do five at a time it's going to realize that mistake and it's going to actually generate uh, the numbers properly because it will see that oh i made a mistake so here now it's actually generating the individual points uh, social media campaigns it's putting in the action plan content calendar visual content engagement strategies and the next one is influencer partnerships so it's very detailed it's going into the plan and now we're going to fast forward uh, through generating the rest of it so you got google ads affiliate marketing pop-up shops limited time offers loyalty program video marketing podcast sponsorships and it just goes on and on and on putting in very detailed plans for this marketing plan and as you see um, it's doing uh, step seven out of seven. Now it's run seven prompts and now it's finished. So let's take a look. You see, as I said, all the numbers are now correct. It fixed that problem and all the data is there, as you can see. And the numbers, even though it was eight, nine, 10, at the very bottom, if you go, you will see that it's all correct. It's 30, 29. So everything is fixed because it only needed to do five at a time. So the quality is much better. And as you can see, this chat has four and a half thousand words. And the most amazing thing is you can actually export this entire chat in one shot because now that you can generate an entire uh, project like that, it would be very inconvenient if every time you generate a large project, you'd have to go in and manually copy paste the pieces out of the chat. So this is why we added this ability to download everything as a TXT file and you can just open it on your computer. And just like that, all the answers are there in one file, nicely organized for you, all in one shot. So that entire projects that you just completed inside of ChatGPT, it's available to you you can edit it, you can use it somewhere. With just one click, you export everything. And the beauty about it is that now that we saved that prompt, if you needed to create uh, a new marketing plan for a different business, you could easily do that with just one click. Now, the multi-step prompt builder is amazing, but I wanted to go a step further. In fact, we went totally overboard with this project. For the past year, myself and a team of developers have built a ton of other new functionality for ChatGPT in an upgrade we call Ultra. From a prompt library where you can not only save your own custom prompts, but have ChatGPT generate entire libraries for both your work and your personal life. To a way to highlight parts of ChatGPT responses and have ChatGPT fix only those parts to your exact specifications or requirements. We've also built a way for ChatGPT to break out of the chat window, write your emails, talk to YouTube videos, and be your personal assistant across the web. And you install this thing with one click as a Chrome extension and it instantly transforms your ChatGPT with all this new functionality. To see more Ultra features and abilities, check out some of the other videos on my YouTube channel. Now, there's a special discount link for people watching this video. You can get Ultra for only $37 a year instead of the much higher regular price by going to getultra.ai slash get or by clicking the link in the description. If you have a minute, I would love for you to comment about what you think of Ultra or if you have any feature requests. I'm looking forward to your feedback and I'll see you in the next video.